Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, speed up your old laptop if you have a really old like a 10-15 years old laptop how you can upgrade them how to make it faster and what are the recommended options that you could have to boost the performance for your old laptop uh, in this specific one if you guys wonder it's the Acer Aspire 43 33 series and as we can see this old laptop has a Intel Celeron processor and 1 gig DDR3 RAM and 160 gig mechanical hard drive and this one is missing a battery but that's not a big deal so pretty much if you want to upgrade a laptop like this one or specifically this model I recommend you guys to upgrade the mechanical hard drive to a solid state drive and that will boost the performance of the Windows performance uh, by about 40-50% and also for the, if you want to install Windows uh, 10 minimum requirement is a 4 gig RAM so in this video we are going to cover up uh, first we're going to start increasing the RAM on this one so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to increase the RAM for this model First thing first is to power it off completely and what we need to do, we need to get few tools ready. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. We're going to be using this iFixit tool set kit which are, they have one of the best bits out there because these are an S2 class steel. That means they are really tough in steel and they will not go bad after a few years or even uh, lots of usage. We are going to be using a Philips number one from this tool set. And next tool that you want to be needing, it's an opening tool. For opening tool, you can get the pro version of this one. I will leave the link in the description. Or you simply can grab a metallic uh, guitar pick. The metallic guitar picks are really great because they have a, they're really toughened and they have a soft edges, so they're really hard to scratch plastic with these ones. So these are the only two tools that you need. Alright, now we're gonna flip the laptop upside down and we're gonna remove all the uh, screws that we see on the bottom cover, including the screws at the under the battery and the one right by the uh, battery connector. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing all the screws. Most of the screws on the outer side they are the same height and size except the ones under the battery which are the short ones. Go ahead and start removing them. I also realized that only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and if it helps you guys out, I would really appreciate it if you guys could support the channel by subscribing or clicking that like button. Again, if you find my content useful. I would really appreciate it and it really helps and motivates me to make more videos. See, I have two piles of screws, the long screws for the bottom case and the one under the battery. And next, we need to remove the CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive just by pulling it out. All right. Next, what we want to do, we want to remove the SD card cover, whatever you want to call, caddy. Next, you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Just like that and you want to stick it like that and you just want to twist it make sure you hit those clicks go all around it left and right side so between the top and the bottom cover and just want to just twist it and do the back and you see this one is already coming up so just go ahead and lift it up and that's your bottom cover right there and the ram is really the ram dims are visible right in front of you to remove the RAM, this one you can actually add an extra RAM. These are a DDR3 RAM. I'll leave the link in the description. You can grab two the two gigs. This one can only go up to four gig for the type of the motherboard. You cause it one gig to remove the RAM is really easy. Just pull these two triggers apart, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you want to do is just pull it out in the same 45 degree angle, and grab the new RAM, bring it over. 
is slider in the same direction, in the same position, 45 degree toward the RAM dim and toward the motherboard, make sure you hear those two clicks. Again, you wanna pull these two triggers apart. The RAM will come out in 45 degree, pull it out in 45 degree. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim, which is right there. If you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through and you cannot just simply place it in. So in this case, I have a uh, one gig RAM, it goes all the way in and then towards the motherboard. And you see these two triggers, it stays straight and locked in. Grab the new one, bring it in, slide it all the way in towards the motherboard. Now there we have it. Also another trick, another thing, if you change the RAM and you turn on the laptop, it turns on but you don't get, you get a black screen, don't panic, it's normal, sometimes it happens because sometimes not all BIOSes detect the RAM at the first. What I recommend you to do to power it on and remove the RAM, put the new RAM on the bottom dim, power it on, once you get the screen, power it up and then come back and place the old RAM on the second dim. And that way the BIOS will detect again and it will just work simply. It will just work fine. All right, once you got the RAM in there, simply grab the bottom cover, bring it over. Make sure the audio jack connectors are nicely in place. Uh, push it down, make sure it does clicks. And once you're in there, grab the DVD drive, bring it over and push it right through. And the last step would be to just put the bottom screws. Remember the short screws goes under the battery and the long ones goes on the bottom, on the top cover, or depends how you're looking at it. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, please click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to fast forward this part and place all the screws right here.